me. Um, I have several packages to um, unbox for you girls today. I am not sure what is what. I've ordered a couple things in the last week, so um, I'm not really sure which package is what. So I guess I'll kind of figure that out as I open them. Um, I know that I've ordered um, some new plates and things like that that I'm going to be using. So um, let's just get into the mail and let's see what we have today. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, this, if I see the buffer block in here, this has got to be my Conad set. I finally broke down and purchased some Conad Special Polish, which is way more expensive than I ever wanted to pay. Um, but what can you do, right? Um, everybody says it makes such a difference in stamping. And um, I've had a lot of success with... Um, like a better quality plate, but everybody says that, you know, the Conad Special Polish makes, you know, the biggest difference. So, um, I broke down and I bought a set, I think of 12 off Amazon, um, and it said it was going to come with like a free buffer block, um, and a free Aviva Beauty box. I guess this folds into a little, like, pillow pouch. I don't know what I'd really need that for. Um, but, okay, new buffer block, which I actually need one of those. Some mineral cosmetics, just some cards, I don't know. File. You can always use a file. And it looks like this is my package. And I did order these Conad polishes off of Amazon. Um, I looked on different places and I didn't really find them anywhere that was ridiculously cheap. Um, so I'll put down in the description bar exactly how much I paid for this because I don't know off the top of my head. Um, let me open them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. And I think I ordered 12. It was like $56, I want to say. Um, maybe it wasn't 12. Okay. Alright, so here's my first one. Conad Special Polish. And it had the colors when I ordered them. Let me see if it says on here. Where does it say what kind of polish this is? Mm. Well, here's a little polish. Let me open it and see if it says. Okay, it just has the number. Why is this? Okay, well, whatever. Um, when I ordered them, it said which ones I was getting, but it doesn't say anywhere on here. Okay, that's stupid. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm like staring at this thing forever. Well, here's the first one, and I'll look up the names of them. Of course, it's got some shimmer. These are like the pearl ones, I think. I'm not sure. Um, so it's like this rose color, this pink color. I think it's vivid pink, I want to say is what it's called, or something like that. Let me see. I don't even have like a packing slip in here. Okay, whatever. Trying to put it back in this little package here. Okay. Mm. Alright, so it comes in a little package like that. So there's number one. Here's number two. This is just the white. So there's number two. Here's number three. It's like a brown. One was like mossy brown or something. I really don't know why they don't say what they are on them. This is a really pretty color. It's kind of like a copper, almost. So that's three. This might be the vivid pink. The bright, bright, hot pink. So, the ones I ordered, I kind of got these, like, shimmery ones. And then I got just the matte, kind of, just bright colors. Um, so there's that one. Still doesn't say what which one it is. Um... I guess I'll have to go on the website. Here is this pretty, it's kind of a yellow, it's like a mustard green almost. I don't know, that's kind of pretty. I'm not sure. It's almost a gold, but it's not. It's yellow. Mm. Here is like a silver color. And I've really been wanting some Conad polishes since I've really been into stamping. Um... But I really wanted to make sure I was, like, doing all right with it and uh, going to stick with stamping before I wanted to pay out all this money. Um, 
Here's their black polish. I think this is like the black pearl or something. I don't know. Just the basic black one everybody uses. And then the blue. And then this one I liked a lot. It's this dark green. Let's see if you can see that. It's this pretty dark green, like a forest green or hunter green. Really pretty dark green. And I think it had a top coat with it, which I don't really need the top coat. Yeah, top coat. I don't really need a top coat, but hey. Um, so one, two, three. It was ten, not twelve. I couldn't remember exactly how many it came with. All right, so it was fifty-six, I think, for ten of them. Um, that includes the top coat, though, which isn't really polished, but um, you know, it's top coat. What can you do? All right, so um, of course. If you've seen the Conab polishes before, here is the pink. And I'll take separate pictures of these. I'm going to have to go back and look and see exactly what their names were because I really don't remember. This video is probably really long because I was searching for the name on the package. Um, so forgive me. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm actually going to redo my nails today. And I'm hoping to use these and the new plates that I got because I got some new cheeky plates um, as well. So, I'm excited about that. So, um, 10 Conad polishes. I think it was like 56 something. So, that's, you know, a little bit under six bucks a piece, which is pretty good for what I've seen. I didn't really find a place where they were just horribly discounted or anything. Um, so, I'm pretty happy with it. And I think this is a good, like, you know, beginner setup, start with the tin polishes, and you know, if you need more, buy more as you go. So, I'm just starting off with these tin, and I'm gonna see how I like them. And then, if I love them, like everybody says that they're amazing, then um, I'll go ahead and buy more of them. But I did want some actual, authentic stamping polishes because um, I have one white stamping polish that came with like a stamper kit or something that I got before, but it's horrible. So, I really just use regular polishes like the Insta Dry or um, Metallics. I have a lot of color clubs that um, they tend to stamp really well. So um, I've really just been using those the whole time I've been really learning how to stamp better and, and kind of um, going through my cheeky summer plates. I've really just been using regular polishes. So I'm excited to see, you know, how much better these stamp or if they stamp much better and to see if it's really worth the extra money um because you know insta dries are like three to four dollars or less depending on if you find them on sale or not um and the conad polishes are kind of expensive so um i'm going to use these hopefully tonight if i have time and i'm gonna just kind of compare and think about um if they're just really that much better than just using a regular polish. So, um, thanks for watching. I'm going to continue to open my packages, so stay tuned. Bye.